Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crazy Monkey here and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use any controller onto your smartphone device to be able to play any games, emu any emulators that you might have installed into your device and you're tired of using the touchscreen. Uh, I haven't really found any proper way showing you how to connect um, the controllers. Um, today I'm going to be using an emulator um, for PlayStation 1 and it and that shows you you know i'll be able to show you how to connect your controller any type of controller or what type of controller you need um how to configure it's very easy depending which um, controller you use and yeah let's get right into it so today um you know unfortunately this only works on samsung devices i mean i'm sorry not samsung android devices so any android device that you have and it only works for micro usb um, there's some new LG phones that are coming out with different plugins um, that wouldn't work unless you do get the yeah actually for now it's only these types <clears throat> it's called the OTG on the go cable you can find this on eBay um, a set of three in case you lose one for like about five bucks uh, it's very easy to use all this is is a micro USB that connects to your phone and then it has a USB plugin on the back side um, so basically on this you could connect any USB device, you could use a keyboard, a mouse, controller, basically anything that has a USB, even, you know, USB drives. Um, so today you could use up to anything, you could use an Xbox controller, you could use a PlayStation controller, anything that could connect into the USB device. Um, for this, if you want to use this, you could use a PlayStation 3 controller that's wired. Um, unfortunately not wireless, that you need a different setup. Um, an Xbox controller that's wired, but if you want to play with friends, you know, if you want to connect more than one controller, yes, that is possible. Um, but the easiest way would probably be to get a PlayStation uh, 2 adapter. I have this one. You could connect uh, two controllers on here. Um, you know, you could buy this on eBay for probably five bucks also. You could connect your PlayStation 2 controller onto there, and then it'll be easier to play, you know, to play on a smartphone device. Or if you want, you could use an Xbox wireless adapter. You could buy this online, probably seven bucks, eight bucks around there. Um, so yeah, basically all this does is connects any wireless adapter uh, device. I like to use this because on my emulator, I like to play fighting games. And you know, I have my arcade stick, so I'm able to connect that onto there because you know, when are you ever gonna use a controller like that to play on a small phone like this? Um, so yeah, so it just depends what device uh, you're going to use. Um, if you have any questions or if you want uh, any specific controls um, or if you're confused about a couple things and you want me to explain, you know, you could feel free to comment down below and then I'll make a video uh, regarding to your specific uh, situation. But as of right now, we're going to be using a regular PlayStation 2 controller. And the app, uh, the app that I have is the EPSXE. It's a PlayStation 1 emulator. Um, you know, it's very easy to use. They have a free version or a paid for version online. Um, actually, I'm not sure if they have a free version. <clears throat> PSXE. Yeah, it's not free. Um, but, you know, you could download it online. Um, or you could just purchase it. Uh, there's also emulators like uh, PSP emulator, Game Boy Advance emulator, you know, there's a lot. Uh, this will pretty much work with any of those. It's the same concept. You go into the settings. Uh, you know, let me just show you might as well. So you connect your device onto whatever you want to plug into. Get the right side. Oops. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand. Okay, so all you gotta do, simple as that, just connect it to your charging port device. Um, yeah, to your charging port. Make sure it's in good. Alright, now what you wanna do is connect your controller. Like I said, right now I'm only gonna be using, you know, the simplest um, ones, which is PlayStation controllers, wired, not wireless. Just connect that line to there. Okay, and as soon as you see that, that should light up. 
and then I have a controller connected. And you see this? You could also navigate um, to your device just using a simple control, you know. Okay. So basically, you could use any USB device. You could even use a mouse, and the little cursor will show up. Uh, you know, Android made it so you could be able to use anything. Okay. So basically, on this emulator, it's very simple. Um, you could download games online, install them into your phone, and then you have them there. But to set this up, we're going to have to go to Preferences, and then scroll all the way up. It depends uh, which device you have connected into your, uh, your USB. Um, right now, I already have it set up, but let me restart everything for you guys. So basically, all you got to do is go right here and just do it as uh, digital. And then the gamepad, this is where it shows up, uh, which um, what you have connected. So right now I have uh, the first one connected. Okay, so you gotta select your controller that you have. On this one, since it is two ports, you gotta choose which one of the ports is the one that you're connecting. If it's just one single port, it'll only show up as one, and then it'll even show up as the name. And then once you got that, uh, all you gotta do the next simple thing is map the buttons. So basically all you gotta do is the same thing, up, map up, and then it maps, right, so basically all the buttons, you know, and then X, triangle, square, let's do X, start, you know, every button, it's very simple to do. quick you know there's nothing more to it um, you know at first I was confused because I wouldn't be able to really find online how to do it specifically how to set it up people would just show you know you could connect this and that's it but on my side I would have problems and it also depends on what device um, but as of right now that's pretty much done so let's go ahead and test it and then oh let's go back so make sure you're player one there's a gamepad it's uh, selected to yours and then that's digital and then you map the buttons pretty much it go back back you gotta run a game uh you know any game that's installed already uh, let's just choose any tony hawk okay now this is gonna be so this tutorial right now is for this specific emulator um but this could pretty much work for any emulator you know it's the same type of method just got to map the buttons and as you can see there uh, the buttons show up if you want that to go away just go on your back and then more options input settings and then for the screen you could decide not to show as you can see I'll press start and it's working normal just like a normal controller. Down. I'll put it up so you guys can hear. And it also, you know, is, you could also use it on screen on this one because this one the keys are all mapped out. So you, you know the X is right here. So you could also use it, or you could just use your controller as you normally would. Continue. You no, know, it's very simple. It just depends what device going to be using um, but yeah that's pretty much it and if you want to connect two controllers all you got to do is map the other buttons for the other and you got to select where you, it says select gamepad you got to select the other one um, because there is two if you select the same one then you're going to have problems because if you press left on this one it's going to think you're also pressing left on the second player so you got to separate those two so you guys have different inputs yeah just test it out So let's go ahead and quit. Okay, like I said, you could use this for any emulator. If you're going to use an Xbox controller um, or any wireless devices, um, you know, it's gonna, you're going to have to sometimes use a specific program.
but on some emulators it recognizes the devices let me go ahead and show you so you won't need to use any programs okay so let's just run a game and then automatically it's already set up okay just run my over Capcom and now if we connect our Xbox controller to this automatically it's going to recognize and it's going to ask you if uh, you want to set this up as the controller so I'm gonna plug that in. watch as it says something Capcom present. So if you press something on the controller, it says right there. Gamepad detection, yes, and save, or yes, just this time. Okay, so now it's already mapped out for you, because it recognizes the Xbox. Press start. And you gotta choose. You know, it's very simple to use. Um, you know, you don't really have to do much. It just depends what emulator you're using or what you're using it for. Then that's when you're gonna have to need to map the buttons onto there. Um, but yeah, it's very simple, you know. So yeah, this is a quick tutorial on how to be able to use your controllers onto any device. I mean, onto an Android device. Um, it just depends what emulator and um, what controller you're using. It's different setup. If you're on the PlayStation, you have to do it manually. Xbox controllers, they usually detect. So on some apps from the Play Store, actually, if you play um, and you connect the controller, it's actually going to detect it and it's already going to be set up for you. That's only with Xbox controllers. Um, for PlayStation and all that, uh, usually the the Play Store apps don't really recognize PlayStation controllers other than Xbox. So yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, leave us a thumbs up, and if you guys have any questions, uh, make sure to comment, and then I'll be there to answer your questions. All right. Thanks.